What's up guys, it's Sammy Cheese here, back with another video. Now in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a pawn game in Scratch 3.0. Right now, I'll put a preview on screen of the pawn game. As you can see, it's a player versus AI pawn game. And this pawn game is epic, just like the sponsor of today's video. And this video is sponsored by Yeezy.io. Yeezy.io offers a variety of different courses for children ages 8 to 17. Each course is 20 classes long and meets once a week. These classes have no more than 8 students and they're taught by live tutors. Choose between coding, game design, storytelling, entrepreneurship, and more. Try any class for free, there's zero commitment. If you want to sign up, there's a link in the description. Also, use code SAMMYCHEESE20 for 20% off a whole course. And let's get back to the video. So the first thing that you want to do is to delete the scratch cat and make a new sprite and call the sprite player. And just draw a white paddle like the one I have here. And then just go into your backdrops and paint the backdrop black. Then go back into your player sprite and go to code. And let's start coding. The first thing that you want to do is go to events and grab a one green fly click block. And then go into looks and grab a show block. Then go to motion and grab an X Y block. Set the Y to zero and set the X to negative 212. Then go to control and grab a forever block. Then grab an if then block. After that, go into operators and grab a less than block. Change the 50 to 160. And for the right side, just go to motion and grab a Y position block. So now it should look like this. Then grab a change Y by block and put seven. Then just duplicate this block and change the positive 160 to a negative 160. And change the positive seven to a negative seven. Then go back into control and grab two more if then blocks and put this scripted code inside this if then block and then put this scripted code inside the other if then block. So now it should look like this. Then connect them. Then for this if then block that is still empty, just go into a sensing and grab a key and change this to up arrow key pressed. Then put it inside this if then block. And then for the second if then block, grab a key, change this to down arrow pressed and put that inside there. And then just grab the line of code and put it inside the forever loop. Then put this forever loop on the one green flag click block. I just realized I made a mistake. In the down arrow section, just get rid of this block right here. Then grab this block that says if blank is greater than 50 and change the 50 to negative 160 and then change the left side to Y position. After that, just duplicate the player sprite and change it to computer slash AI and then get rid of the code inside of it and then make another sprite. This sprite is going to be the ball. And once you're done with that, just go back into the computer sprite and go to code. Then go to variables and delete my variable and make a new variable and call this variable computer plays question mark. Then press OK and make another variable and call this variable difficulty. Then press OK and go to events. Then grab a one green flag click block, go to motion, grab a go to X 212 y zero then drag that on there then go back into variables and grab a set change this to difficulty to 6.7 then drag this under the go to x y block after that go into control and grab a forever loop and put that there then grab an if then loop and put that there then go into operators and grab a minus block plus block and less than block then go into variables and grab a difficulty block put this on the left side of the plus block and on the right side of the plus block just put a one then put this plus block inside the right side of the minus block. Then go into sensing and grab a backdrop number of stage block. Change stage to ball and change X position to Y position. Then drag this on the left side of the minus block. And then drag this inside where the 50 is on the less than block. And then go into motion and grab a Y position block and put this on the left side of the less than block. So now it should look like this. Then put this inside the if then loop. After that, go into control and grab an if then block. Go back into operators and grab another less than block. Put that inside there. And then change the 50 to 160. And on the left side, just put a Y position block. Just like that. Then grab a change Y by, go into variables and grab a difficulty block. Then put this inside the other if then loop. And now it should look like this. Then go back into control and grab another if then block. Go into operators and grab a minus block, plus block, and greater than block. Then for the plus block, put a 1 on the right side, and on the left side, put a difficulty block. Then go into operators and grab two plus blocks and one greater than block. And then for one of the plus blocks, just put a 1 on the right side, and on the left side, put a difficulty block. Then drag this inside the other plus block. And then for this empty side, just go into sensing and grab a backdrop number of stage, and change this to ball, and then put Y position, and drag this inside the left side of the empty space of the plus block and then put this on the right side of the greater than block. 
And for the left side of the greater than block, go to motion and grab a Y position block and put that there. Then put this inside the empty if then loop. So now it should look like this. After that, go into control and grab a if then block. Then go into operators and grab a greater than block and put this inside the empty if then loop block. Change the 50 to negative 160 and then go into motion and grab a Y position block and put this on the left side of the greater than block. Then grab a change Y by block Go into operators and grab a minus block. Put zero on the left side of the minus block. And on the right side, just put a difficulty block. Finally, drag this inside this if then loop block and put this under the other if then loop block. So now it should look like this. And then go into control and grab a if then else block. And put this line of code in the top of the if then else block. And for the empty if then else block portion, just go to operators, grab an equals block, and change the 50 to a negative 1. Then go into variables and grab a computer place question mark block and put that on the left side of the equals block. And then for the else portion, just grab a control if then block and put that inside there. Go into operators and grab a greater than block and change the 50 to negative 10. And then go into motion and grab a y position block and put this on the left side of the less than block. Then grab a block that says change y by, go into variables and grab a difficulty block. Then go back into control and grab a if then block. Then go back into operators and grab a greater than block. And put this inside the empty if then block. And change the 50 to positive 10. And for the left side, just go into motion and grab a y position block. Then inside the if then portion, just grab a change y by block. And go into operators and grab a minus block. And change the left side to a zero and put a difficulty variable in the right side. So now it should look like this. Finally, drag this inside the else portion under the other if then block, and it should be looking like this. Then put this entire script inside the forever loop. And that is this sprite done. And this script tells the computer to play or not to play. Basically, if computer plays equals negative one, then the computer will play. Otherwise, the computer will not play. And difficulty is just the difficulty of the game. And then make a new sprite and call the sprite middle. This is going to be the middle line of the game. For example, here's my middle line. Then go back into ball and go to code and go into my blocks and make a new block and call this block move. Press add an input and put X. Then press add a label and put steps without going through paddle. Then check run without screen refresh and press OK. And this is just saying move blank steps without going through the paddle. So this makes sure the ball does not go through the paddle. Now let's code it. Go into control and grab a repeat ten block. And then, from the special block, drag and drop this X from it into the repeat 10. So now it should look like this. And then, go into motion and grab a move one step. Then, drag this on the custom block and move it to the side. And then, go into events and grab a one green flag clicked. Go into show and grab a show block. And then, go into variables and make a new variable. And call this variable ball speed. And then, make another variable and call this player score. And then make another variable and call this computer score. And then make another variable and call this starts ball question mark. And then uncheck them all. And then grab a set ball speed to 10 and put that there. Then grab a set player score to zero. And then grab a set changes to computer score to zero. Then grab a set starts ball question mark to negative one and put that there. And finally grab a set computer plays to negative one and put that there. Then go to motion and grab a go to xy block and change both of the values to zero. Then grab a point and direction block and go into operators. Grab a multiplication block and put that inside there. And change the right side to a 90 and go into variables and for the left side just grab a starts ball question mark and put that there. And then go into control and grab a wait one second block. And then grab a forever loop and put that there. And go into my blocks and grab the custom block and put that inside there and change the blink value to ball speed. And then after that, go into control and grab a if then block and put that under there. And go into sensing and grab a touching and change this to player. Then go into motion and grab a point and direction block and put that inside there. Then go into operators and grab a pick random block, a plus block, and a multiplication block. And for the pick random block, put 20 to 25. And put this on the right side of the plus block. And then on the left side of the plus block, Go into motion and grab a direction block and put that there. And then put this on the left side of the multiplication block. And on the right side of the multiplication block, just put negative one. Finally, drag this inside the point and direction block. Then go back into control and grab a repeat until block. And go into operators and grab a not block. 
and then go into sensing and grab a touching player block and put this inside the not block and then inside this all you want to do is put your custom block and then put the ball speed variable for the blank spot and then go into control and grab a if then block and then grab a touching computer slash AI and put this inside the if then loop. And then go into motion and grab a point and direction block. And go into operators and grab a minus block, multiplication block, and pick random block. And for the pick random, make it 20 to 25. And put this on the right side of the minus block. And then on the left side of the minus block, just put a direction block. And put this on the left side of the multiplication block. And then on the right side of the multiplication block, just put a negative 1. Then drag this inside the point and direction block. And then all you want to do is duplicate this repeat until block by right clicking and pressing duplicate. Put that there and change it to not touching player to not touching computer slash AI. And then drag this under the point and direction block. Finally put this inside the forever loop just like that. And then grab an if on edge bounce block and put this under that code. And then go into control and grab a if then block and go into operators and grab a greater than block. And on the left side of the greater than block just put 229. And on the left side, all you want to do is go to motion and put X position. And then grab a go to XY block and make it 0, 0. And then go into variables and grab a set block and put that under there. And change it to start ball question mark. And then go into operators and grab a multiplication block and put this where the 0 is. And change the right side to negative 1. And on the left side, just put start ball question mark. So it should look like this. And then go into motion and grab a point and direction block and put that there. And then in operators, grab a multiplication block and put this where the 90 is. <coughs> and put 90 on the right side of the and put 90 on the right side of the multiplication block and on the left side, go to variables and grab start small question mark. So it should look like this. Then grab change and change this to player score by one. And then grab a set variable block and change it to computer score. And put a start ball question mark variable inside of it. And then go into control and grab a wait one seconds block and put that there. And then just right click and duplicate this. And just get rid of this code. And then go into operators and grab a less than block and change the 50 to negative 229. And on the right side, just put X position. So it should look like this. And then just change player score by one to change computer score by one. And then drag this on here and drag this under the if on edge bounce block. And finally, go into control and grab one more if then block. And go into operators and grab an equals block. And on the right side of the equals block, change the 50 to a 5. And on the left side, just put a player score variable. And then go into events and grab a broadcast block. Press new message and make a new message that says player win. Then press OK. And after that, just put it inside the if then loop. And then go into control and grab a stop all block. Put this inside the if then loop and change it from stop all to stop this script. And then just duplicate this script and get rid of player score and replace it with computer score. And finally, just put this inside the forever loop under the wait one second block. And this sprite is done. After that, all you want to do is go to the middle sprite and go to code and go into events, grab a one group flag clicked, looks, show, motion, go to x, zero, y, zero. Then make a new sprite and call this player score. And inside the sprite, all you want to do is write numbers 0 through 5. As you can see, I have numbers 0 through 5 here. And once you're done with that, just go to code and go into events and grab a one green flag clicked, go into looks, show, go into motion and grab a go to XY block. Make sure it's negative 89, Y144. And then go into control and grab a forever loop and put that under the go to XY block. Then go to looks and grab a switch costume to block. And go into operators and grab a plus block and change the right side to a 1 and change the left side to player score just like that and then just right click on player score and duplicate it and call this computer score and then inside computer score change negative 89x to positive 89x also change player score to computer score and finally just make a new sprite and make a you lose and a you win screen for example here are mine you win and you lose after that just go into code and the first thing that you want to do in this right is go to events, grab a one group flag click block, go into looks and grab a hide block. Then go back into events and grab a win and receive block and make sure it says computer win. Then go into motion and grab a go to x0, y0 block. Put that there and go into looks. Grab a go to front layer block and then grab a show block and finally grab a switch costume to block and make sure it's the costume where it says you lose and put that on there. 
And then all you want to do is right click and press duplicate and change it to player win and change it to the player win block and change the costume to the player win costume. And one quick thing, I forgot one scripted code inside the boss right. So go back into the boss right and go to event and grab a one green flag click block and then go to control and grab a forever if then block and then drag this on the one green flag click block. And inside the if then portion, all you want to do is go to sensing and grab a if touching middle. And then inside the if then block, go into control and grab a wait until block and put that there. Then go into operators and grab a not block and put that there. After that, go into sensing and grab a touching and change this to middle. And then go into variables and grab a set block and put this under the wait until block and change this from ball speed to computer plays question mark. After that, go into operators and grab a multiplication block and put that inside where the zero is and change the right side to a negative one. And for the left side, all you wanna do is just put computer plays question mark. Also, there's another error in the ball sprite and the error is right here in the ball sprite where it says if access position is greater than 229, then set computer score to start ball. It should say set computer plays to start ball, not computer score. Also, the same error is at where it says if X position is less than negative 229, then set computer score to start spall, but it should be set computer plays to start spall. And that's it for this video. If you have any other errors, please let me know in the comment section. Anyway guys, peace out.